Welcome to St. George's Park for this evening's clash between the Warriors and the Cape Cobras. Earlier on, the toss took place, as it always does. Rory Kleinfeld of the WSB Cape Cobras won the toss, and he decided to bowl, as captains are wont to do in this year's competition. Chasing certainly seems to have been the way to go. Here's Vernon Philander, goes to Brietzka. Straight to the man at 45. Can you believe it? Wow. The line and length bowler that is Vernon Philander will seldom have got a wicket in that manner. It was a long hop, straying down the leg side, fine leg up in the ring, and Brietzka couldn't have picked out the man more accurately. In the air. Oh, and Omelis put it down. Oh, my word. Not an easy one. He's launched himself away to his right, got two hands to it, but spilt the chance. In the air, down the ground, good stroke, away for four. Or is it? Yes, it is. Teasing chase. In the air again, and over the top, and away for four. Good batting from Clutie, 12 from the over, it's 20 for one. Oh, my word, Micaiah, what has he done? The two wickets the Warriors have given away are as soft as can be. Cloudy Bukako is over the moon because he's been gifted a wicket there. Bold him! Captain Khan! And a wonderful start this for the Cape Cobras. And he castles John John Smuts. Nice and tight, wicket to wicket. Maybe a little nip in towards John John Smuts, but he played all around that. He goes to Kashile. Bold him! What a wonderful start that for George Linder. So George Linder with his first delivery picks up the wicker of Koshele. That sliced away. He is so powerful, Marco Marin. That goes all the way for six. And he needed to do something different. And the 50 comes up for the Warriors. Well, he goes straight up on the ground. A chance for Rory Kleinfeld. Oh, my goodness. Just couldn't grab it. Need all the hard yards. Fingertip stuff from the Cobras captain. George Linder. Oh, and Nyaku joins the party and smashes this with the breeze into the scoreboard. These two are having some fun. Straight hit, skimming hit, power, power, lots of it. Murray, another boundary, and a 50 partnership between he and Onke Nyaku. High in the air, high and far to the crowd and onto the roof in fact wow it's with the breeze but he's middled it the paddle and succeeded this time it's away for four they're breaking records now on kenyaku and marco maria it's a new fifth wicket partnership record for the warriors against the cobras he does a beautiful reply that is an excellent reply gee when you bowl the perfect yorker at a time like this, it was so needed by the Cobras. You can almost sense the relief because Anyaku was starting to take the game away with Maria. High, high, high in the air and way into the stand. He's hitting into the wind, but the moment he hit that, you knew he had enough on it. Bukaku. There it is, there it is, that's 50. Whoa, it look is. at that the ground over the roof down the road and 50 more for Marco Maria his 60 20 50 his second consecutive CSA T20 challenge 50 bold indeed by Slotty Bukaku again he gets the Yorker out and uproots Thomas Carber's stumps it's 134 for six Oh, inside out, over cover for six. Well, I just can't believe this. I cannot believe what we're seeing. Oh, Big shout and gone. 
Andrew Birch, he's gone for four, 145 for seven. Well, he comes straight down the ground. Oh! What a brilliant effort that from Kojima on the boundary. Wow. A V-way in Kojima. But he's watching the ball. He gets it in his hand, but he understands that, well, I'm, I'm, my momentum is still going. But he just flicks it in time into the field of play. Wonderful work. Good start that. Boundary for Marco Murray. Outside edge. Just over the head of Hashimamla, and that's four more. And it's a short side, and it's such a dangerous field to bowl to. That's six more. Chance. Taken. Kojima under it. He has very good hands. So the Warriors lose their eighth wicket. Megala for 22, 188 for eight. Bowl them! A wonderful innings come to an end. And that's a great delivery by Vernon Philander. And he castles him. 75 of just 36 deliveries. The Warriors, 188 for now. Chance and taken. Rory Clayfield takes a comfortable catch at the end. And Vernon Philander picks up five wickets. So the Warriors close their innings on 189. Yeah, Vernon Philander is only the third bowler to take a Fifer in a CSA T20 challenge. Quality. Lovely shot there by Yanaman Milan to get his first six of the evening. Nine without loss. Pulled away, chance. Straight to the fielder. Well, he gets his first, Lutas Apamla. And that's a good start for the Warriors. Yeah, he's gone for 12, Yanaman Milan at 17 for one. Oh, that's six runs. That's Amla his best. Yes, he wants to take the pressure away. Magala into the attack. That's a quick run, he needs to hurry. Oh, it's a direct hit. He's in trouble here, Hashim Amla. You can see, he knew it. He's out. Look at his face, he's walking. He doesn't even have to wait. Edge! It's just wide. Off the mark, Jason Smith. Smeared away over mid on. That's a very good stroke. And it's gone all the way. Up in the air, over the keeper it goes. They're running back, but they won't get there. This will go for four, and up comes the 50 for the Cobras. Six from the moment he was expecting it. He's massacred that betting him. Cheese tucked into Sapumla in this over. Into the deep. Is it all the way? Is it out? It's out. It's out. It's out. He's trying to clear the man with the wind. And I think he thought he'd got enough of it, but he'd hit it straight to Luta Zapamla, who did not move. Oh, mix up. Mix up. Gone. Run out. Brilliant fielding. John John Smuts outstanding. Verena sold down the river. He's gone for six. This is Carver into the attack, full toss out the ground. Gee, you can't bowl that. That has hit the screen. That's six runs. Just immediately has delivered that and he hit it. George Linder. Way over. Sliced away and that's four more. Finding 
moment. Magala, left-handed, horizontal, has clung on to the catch of the competition. Useful hand played by Jason Smith. He's gone for 37, 146 for five. Cobras need a boundary. They haven't got it. Magala is on fire. He fires in the Yorker, smashes the stumps out. And between he and Lotus Apamla, Sasanda Magala is winning the game now for the Warriors. The end of a useful hand from George Linda. Nothing, a dot. Oh no, that's a bit sloppy. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. He can do no wrong. He can do no wrong, Sasanda Magala. It's his night, is it, for Sasanda Magala. And Gajima's gone for two. Down the ground. Is that the boundary? Eventually it comes. Is it too little, too late for the Cobras? Well, the last ball will go for six somewhat defiantly and somewhat anticlimatically. But all that does is reduce the margin. They needed a lot more of those in the last five overs, but that will be a happy captain. He will be delighted with the performance one of Marco Maria with the bat, and then particularly his three seamers in the final five overs when it looked like the Cobras were favorites. Magala, Sipamla, and Birch bowled excellently at the business end, and it's seen the Warriors to a much needed victory by the margin of 10.